Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back and oh, it is an exciting video today. So I have got a new craft to try and a new tool and a new product to review. Um, I just really, really want to get stuck into this one. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm just going to show you exactly what we've got and we're just going to get cracking. So let's get into it. Well, hello there. Okay. So the product we're looking at today was sent to me by a company called Kuliao, Kuliao, Kuliu, ah, whatever. It's this. It is the customizer, is what it's called, but it is essentially an engraving pen. So I was sent this and some extra tips and a load more extra tips as well. So uh, let's just have a look at all of these. Look at those. That is. Well, that really is a lot. Uh, we've got these ones as well, so I'm going to get these out. There we go. So, I am fairly new to engraving in that I had a Dremel tool before, but I just use it for kind of DIY stuff, not really for art. Uh, and that is where this steps in. So I'm going to use this, I think, when I'm doing sculpting, but I wanted to give it a try just actually as an engraving tool. So in the box, we have this. This is the actual engraving tool, and you can press. It's fairly quiet, and it has three speed settings, and then off. And as you'll see, no cable. This is completely wireless, so it does come with a USB charging cable. Um, I've had a quick look in this box beforehand, in case you couldn't tell. But literally all I've done is have a look. Um, oh yes, we've got more engraving tips, two more, plus a little um, sprocket thing there, which we've got up here, and the Allen key that loosens it. And that's the charging cable. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the plastic bit away um, because this can just live in here nice and snug. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a scrap piece of wood here, and I'm just gonna go through and test some of the ends and see kind of what they do on wood. So this could have been used on lots of different materials, plastic, glass, metal, wood. But I have chosen to engrave something nice on a nice piece of wood today. And it's a functional piece as well, which I'm very excited about. But before I just dive in, like I usually do, I'm actually gonna give this a try. So I'm gonna use a few of the tips and just see kind of what we can do with them. So I will probably, so just looking closer at some of these, it looks like some of these will remove a lot of material and some of these not necessarily. So I think these are the diamond tipped ones. These are more engraving, kind of gouging. And these are also diamond tip, I believe. Um, right, let's, let's get set up and, uh, and Start some engraving. So I'm going to take out the Allen key. Let's see how easy this is to set up. I'll take one of these because these look the same. They look like the, the same tool. And then I should be able to put this in here. Loosen this up. Pop in the bit. And that goes quite deep. I'm not going to put it all the way in, I don't think. And then we should be able to tighten this up. Let's bring this out just a little bit more. There we go. Nice and snug. So now it's got a quite nice grip on this actually, but if I press So obviously 
it's making a lot of dust and I'm going to have to hoover in the room whilst I'm doing this project because I don't want dust going absolutely everywhere, particularly because my computer's in here as well. Um, but we've got lots of different tips and they do lots of different things. So I think what I'm going to do is whilst I'm working on my project, let's just take this one out. Uh, I'm going to have this scrap piece of wood at the side and test things out before I go into my project. Speaking of which, shall we have a look at what I have planned? So I said it is a functional piece. Uh, I wasn't lying. So I have, I actually have two of these. But this is an acacia wood chopping slash serving board. It's a very small chopping board, just, just bigger than my hand. But actually, really, really nice quality, good solid wood as well. And I have a design that I want to put on this so i quickly sketched this up this morning and it is this so we've got a couple of mushrooms we have uh some thyme some basil and some rosemary so some nice classic herbs to go on here so what i need to do now is try and transfer this onto here i don't think i have any transfer paper so i think i'm probably just going to redraw it but i will come back to you when i've got this actually on here however i decide to do that and, uh, and then we can start engraving and see how this tool handles a nice hard piece of wood. Okay, that's enough jokes about hard pieces of wood. Let's get to the tool. Oh God, that's even worse. So, uh, as I said, this is my first time really engraving for an art purpose and, and for crafts. And uh, boy, oh boy, is it a steep, learning curve. So I started off with um, one of the kind of burring tools, which is where there's lots of striations at the end. I think they're designed for moving a lot of material out of the way. Um, I've gone for quite a line heavy design on this. There are a couple of areas where I'm removing quite a lot, but actually that's one of the things that I've learned from this whole process and something I definitely want to do again in the future and just modify my design so it's not as line heavy and instead is using more kind of shape and shape language. Not to say that I'm not happy with what happened with this, I'm, I'm very happy, but I do think it can definitely be improved. So if you do pick up one of these tools, then just something to bear in mind. I also have um, in my toolbox downstairs lots of old bits from my Dremel which look like they would fit in this. I have kind of cutting wheels and flywheels and sanding drums and all sorts of things. I'm very excited to try some of those as well. But for the purposes of today's, you see there, I, there are a few little cuts in here just where I'm doing hoovering and cleaning things up. Uh, for the purposes of today's, I'm only using what has been sent to me by Kuliao, which is how you say the company's name, Kuliao. This is the Kuliao customizer. Um, as I say, I picked up these chopping boards fairly cheaply um, and I kind of went in this in the mind frame of if I mess up, that's absolutely fine because I've not wasted loads of money. It's just a small amount. But actually, I don't think I messed up at all. It, obviously, that's, that's my opinion. <laughs> Let me know what you think at the end. Um, but if you have never tried engraving before, if it's something that you'd like to try in the future, then I do have a link down below. There's a code which is Sean15, that's S-E-A-N-1-5, and that will get you 15% off your purchases at Kuliao. Uh, and there's also a link down below as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, uh, I do get a small kickback from that. As you know, I don't recommend any product that I don't believe in, that I haven't tested myself and I don't think is value for money. And this one absolutely is value for money. It's a really fun, really cool piece of kit and I can highly recommend it. So you can see I've kind of gone around and do, done lots of outlining and then a couple of these leaves, so out of the six of them, seven of them, um, three of them or two and a half are kind of completely uh, engraved out and actually I think that works really well. I love the patterns that come along but it works really well with this as well. The diamond burr ones seem to be best for flattening out areas and then taking out a lot of material. Um, but as I said this is an experimentation and this is with wood and this product can be used on lots of different materials. Um, I'd really like to try this on some plastics as well. But I think for me, my, my main use for this is going to be with polymer sculpts. 
So as you know, I love sculpting with polymer clay. Um, and then I go in afterwards, usually with some tools, you know, doing a little bit of hoovering. Um, I go in with some tools and I refine and I sand and I scrape away. And I think actually this tool is going to make that so much easier. Uh, so much more refined as well. I think the line work I'm going to be able to do and the small details and the kind of nooks and crannies that I'm going to be able to get into is just going to really open things up. So, very excited to do that. And I've got a couple of sculpting videos on the works. So, I'm definitely going to be using this in those videos as well. Um, but as always, if there's anything you'd like to see me sculpt, always open to suggestions leave comments down below as always you know i love chatting to you guys uh we've had some really nice conversations in the chat and on some on my instagram and twitter links to all of that down below as well um but for now all i'm doing is going over and refining pieces and and carving out a few more details the only thing really left to, to carve in is the uh, rosemary leaves on the side the roots of the mushroom and then just some fine details and that's what I'm trying here, is those fine details, the gills on the underside of a mushroom, and um, just trying out some of the tools to see what works for me. And it took me a bit of trial and error to get what I wanted. It ended up, I think, being one of the burr tools, but one that had almost like a tiny flywheel at the end, and that gave me the, the definition and the, the fine lines I really wanted. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave you to enjoy the rest of this creation there's still a few minutes left um, and I will join you at the end with my final thoughts on this product and on this piece in general so I will see you very soon And we are finished. So here is the finished chopping board. I'm not sure how clearly you can see it, but I will leave some pictures at the end as well. Um, so what do I think of the the engraver quilt tool, the customizer? Um, actually, I think it's a really decent tool. So if I just switch it on so you can see the battery indicator, 
it's only used one bar of the three bars of battery, which is really great, and I've actually been using it for about an hour, and it's still doing really well. I love the fact that I could just stick this in a pencil case and take it with me with a couple of bits and, you know, find a scrap piece of wood or a seashell or something and do some engraving while I'm out and about. So for that, it is amazing. How are my skills at engraving? They are not great, <laughs> but uh, it's something I would definitely practice because this was actually really fun. It was really nice to do, and whilst I was saying, I was thinking, I wish I'd tried this instead, or maybe that tool would have been better. So I think this, this was a really nice first attempt. But here's the good thing. Obviously, it's a chopping board. The chopping board has another side, so we can do something else there. Also, number two, this came as a two-pack, so I could do plenty more of these. Uh, and these were dirt cheap as well. They were, these were a fiver for two uh, little mini chopping serving board things. So if you'd like to see me use these again, then please comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to have engraved on a chopping board uh, or on a wooden spoon or anything else. Uh, tell me what you think I should do. And maybe I'll do a giveaway of whatever we do next time. But like I say, leave a comment down below and I do read all of them and I do try to respond as much as I can. Anyway, for today, that is all. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and until next time, goodbye.